Jazz, definitely not jazz. Jazz is a nightmare for me. There's some great jazz, and I'm not like I'm not gonna take the hate from the jazzers. Oh God. Well, that was a, that was. Shit. Hey guys, I'm Nick Collins. I was the drummer for Genesis. Phil Collins, my dad, and my own band, Better Strangers. And I'm here at Drumio, where they're gonna play me a song for the first time, and I'm gonna try and learn it as quickly as possible. I would say that like my my comfort zone is, I mean anything kind of rock is kind of usually easy to pick up for me. I mean, obviously now prog rock has kind of, you know, come in a little bit. And I'm pretty good at, like, picking up time signatures. If it's an odd time, I can maybe pick that up kind of fast. But if it's rock, I should be okay. Or funk, I would say those are kind of, like, what I'd be comfortable with. What would you say is, like, the most terrifying style of music? I would say, like, really heavy metal music. Just stuff where it's, like, I mean, blast beats don't even... I mean, I've never even attempted a blast beat, but, like, and jazz, definitely not jazz. Jazz is a nightmare for me. Like, I mean, if it's like kind of like a, you know, jazzy song, like we did the Susudio big band version, that's okay. Well, you can hit play. Oh, God. Okay, let's listen to it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. This kind of, I mean, I don't know. All this kind of music sounds the same to me, so this sounds somewhat familiar, but I don't know. No idea what's going on here. It's not enough time to really figure out what's going on there. <laughs> okay, I mean, I can pick up some stuff, like the time signature. The end is really where I'm like, I don't, I don't, I didn't have enough time to know what was, every time I was trying to figure it out, they would, they were changing whatever was happening. So, um, we can, I can try and struggle through it, but you want me to play it now after one listen? I want you to play it now. Okay. <laughs>
Well, that was a, that was <laughs> Hey guys, Nick Collins here. I was the drummer for Genesis and Phil Collins, my dad. Just wanted to let you guys know that we've got a bunch of full drum transcriptions inside of Drumeo for all of my dad's most iconic and famous drum parts with Genesis, his solo material, and Brand X. If you want to check them out, click the link down below and you can see all of them. What, what did you notice about, uh, just like about the track? Well, I noticed that a lot of it was an odd time. I mean, I picked up seven pretty much for the most part, but listening to it without playing along to it gave me a chance to, to pick that up nicely. I don't know if this was tracked to a click or if this is live or, or what the kind of vibe is. It was hard to kind of keep that, that time going when you're just listening to the horn solo, so I don't know if it was to, uh, to something, but I picked up that it was in that time. So, dum dum da 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 Kind of, that's the main feel. And then there's the part at the beginning, the Something like that. So for the second uh, listen, we have a version with click in here that we can load up for you. Is that cheating? I didn't know we were near the end, but I mean that was that was better. That was better. I, 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 the click definitely helps getting a to know where the, you know the constant is. Yeah, there's the part in the middle that um, I don't know if the, the the time changes. It's very syncopated, so that's one that I would probably sit sit down and know exactly what's going on. But as far as grooving over it, I kind of feel like I struggled my way through it a little bit better at that time. <laughs> Do you, uh, do you still stand by your claim that all jazz sounds the same? There's some great jazz, and I'm not like I'm not gonna take the hate from the jazzers, saying that I I don't appreciate what they do. No, I think there's some really great jazz. That's awesome. That, that but that to me is almost like it's almost like funk music. At least that's how I kind of approached it with like that kind of beat. But I think that no, that's a great that's a great song. That's good fun. Do you know what this song is from? Was it like from a movie or something? Yeah, great. I'm not gonna tell you what it is until the end. <laughs> Oh God, okay. <laughs> I think I could kind of struggle my way through it, but just sound a little bit better this time. Let's do it, final take? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. This is lighthearted content, right? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not Lauren L. Lewis, what do you want from me, okay? Here we go.
I always get carried away with the end, but you know what? I think I think I'm gonna live with that because I don't want to I don't want to ruin what the point of the video is. But were you rushing or dragging? Were you rushing or were you dragging? Answer! Was that from Whiplash or some shit? Like, is that what it's from? That's how what I know that from, that line from. Um, you know, you know what the song is? No. It's Whiplash. Oh, it's the song Whiplash? I've seen the movie Whiplash. That's probably where I heard it. I didn't know that that, that was a... Oh, well, it gave me whiplash, I'll tell you that. Were you rushing or dragging? That's when I, I recognized. At least you didn't throw a symbol at my face. Wow. Well, Yet. So how was that for you, the whole uh, experience? I think that was okay. I think the time signature was easy to, to, to get onto. That's fun to play. The only part that, that you know, when, when I would hear a song like that, the same way if I approached a, a Genesis song, I, I would want to take take most of the drive here or most of the flight over. You know what I mean? Just sit with just the slight intricacies because like the time signature was straightforward for me, but it was it was just the, um, that little horn part in the middle. And obviously, I think knowing the structure a bit better and knowing near the end where it's like, you know, that's where it ends. Okay, you know what I mean? The the thump, the the down, the bound, the bound, the da 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 da, and then bam bam, da 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 bam bam. I think that's how it ends, but like I'm so carried away with trying to get that first part nailed down that I forgot the end was coming. Do you want to hear your original? Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, he doesn't play on this. That would have made my life easier. I didn't have to play. I mean, I mean, not to, not to, you know, blow smoke up my ass, but that's pretty close to what I did. Man, I didn't have to play on this either. <laughs> Dude. phrase again like I need to hear it there's a valuable lesson in there somewhere there's a valuable lesson in there somewhere and that's sometimes drummers need to know when to shut up and not play and not overstep on everything else because I totally like sat there and was like hey can you play the phrase again just, hey, that, that, I mean, can you imagine if I just sat here? I was like, didn't play it till like, you know, the song actually kicked in. I mean, you assume the way those horns come in that it's like, you know, something's about to, to happen. Um, but now in retrospect, me hitting the concert tops <laughs> when there should just be nothing there. The part that's still tricky is that on that, the little horn bit is kind of totally, you know, um, grooving, but also knows what exactly what's happening on the horns. But that's a lot to take in to focus right on that part already. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. Um, I'm still undecided whether I enjoyed it or not. Um, I think I had a great time. It's a good song. It's a fun song. And um, it's all, you know, it's all part of the fun, right? But if you want to check out all the other Dromeo content that we've made, uh, click the link down below and we can get started. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.